everyone, Happy New Year! I hope you had a good holiday. We're starting the vlog with paintings from a picture book I've been working on. As usual, I started with a sketch on my iPad, which I then printed out to trace onto watercolor paper using my LED trace pad. I like to do the rough sketch digitally for greater flexibility in making changes. It also ensures that the watercolor paper doesn't have to be subject to a lot of erasing. I use a slightly lower grade of watercolor paper for this type of illustration because it won't be displayed as a standalone artwork and I know that the final illustration will also require digital touch-ups. I'm using Fabriano Artistico Extra White 300 GSM Hot Press Paper. I buy them in bulk sheets and cut them down to better match a typical picture book spread size. When I create scenes, I try to always have a dynamic perspective instead of a straight-on view, which can feel stiff and unnatural. I feel that it gives more depth and visual interest to the scene. When you lean the view to one side, it is also easier to convey the dimensionality of objects, whereas a straight-on view, it might be challenging to depict lots of foreshortening. I actually left the floor and walls blank as I wanted to experiment with color choice digitally, so I scanned in both illustrations and worked over it. You might have noticed the very messy blob of color there. I like to do larger strokes to get a more even texture and then go back in with an eraser to clean it up. The next painting is a ramen shop I came across in a quiet street in Kyoto. I am drawing from my vacation photo. Hopefully the pandemic improves further and I'll have a chance to go back to Asia again, but in the meantime I'm enjoying time home in Canada. This time I'm using an artist grade paper, Arches Hot Press 100% Cotton 300 GSM Hot Press. I always prefer hot press, which just means smooth paper without any bumpy textures, because it scans better in my opinion, especially since my work is quite detailed. I'm painting most of the building with gouache. It is opaque, so I need to touch up the outlines a bit. I quite like working in mixed media. In the past, I used to only exclusively work in watercolors, but over the past two years, I've introduced gouache, markers, and colored pencils into my creations. In general, I'll use watercolors for my characters and anything that requires a soft, hazy effect, like windows. I'll use gouache for a flat and consistent color application, usually for backgrounds and large objects, I want visually anchored in the composition. I use colored pencils for small details such as clothing patterns or fur. I reach for markers when I color human hair and in honesty when I'm too lazy to find that color in watercolors. Markers are so quick and easy and doesn't require all the setup of paints. This is a courier service truck that you can see everywhere in Japan. I really like the compact boxy design on it, and the branding is so cute too. Hooray! I haven't been to a thrift store for years, and it was so nice to come across a big one downtown. The toy section was huge and well stocked, so I anticipated a treasure hunt. I have a huge collection of vintage toys in my basement, and everyone who visits is always shocked. Anyways, I found a toy from the 90s of Chibi Maruko-chan. I was really surprised to find such a rare Japanese item in Toronto. It's a kid's anime about a third grader and her daily life at home and school set in the 1970s in suburban Japan. So bright. 
Enjoyed that bit of Christmas montage. The last painting is a vegetable stall in Hong Kong. I'm working with a publisher developing a merchandise line based on my book Hong Kong Travelogue, so I'm excited to be working on some new pieces for that. I made sure to outline the vegetables using a similar color to give it a softer look. It was lots of fun blending the colors on the vegetables. The paper was quite wet, and I enjoyed the happy accidents of the paints blending so softly. I managed to get some really nice gradients. This month will mostly be spent indoors as pandemic cases are rising again here. I'll be making more art, filming, and playing Animal Crossing. Thank you for spending time with me and stay healthy. Take care. Happy New Year.